Hi there, wonderful creative friends on YouTube. Here is another session with me, Tamara Laporte from Willowing Arts. Hello. I hope you are all doing well and finding lots of lovely creative time. Today I wanted to share a fun little project in my mini journal with you, which was first shared for the Woman Unleashed retreat in December 2020, so last year. For that video, I included a letting go and calling in ceremony as we were going from 2020 into 2021. Now, I've cut the ceremony out for this video as we are almost in April of 2021 already, so it isn't really relevant anymore. But I might be making some reference uh, reference to it in the rest of the video. So I'm just letting you know so why, why there was references like that. And I thought you all might still enjoy watching the art part of the video. I'm doing a sweet little face in my travel journal, my mini journal, surrounded by butterflies. I hope you enjoy it. If you're creating anything in response to it, I'd love to see it over in my Facebook group, which is called Willowing and Friends, and you can find the link um, to that group below, as well as my other social media links as well. I'd love to hang out with you on Instagram. It's one of my favorite places to be. And if you enjoyed this video or any of my other ones, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I so very much appreciate your kind comments, love and support always. It means more to me than you'll ever know. <laughs> and I'll be back soon as well with another episode of Finish a Journal. See you next time. Much love. Bye. Enjoy. Okay. So now let's make a little piece of art. So, um... I wanted to work with, I, I work with butterflies a lot in my work, uh, butterflies, all sorts of animals, but butterflies are big for me. And butterflies for me um, are obviously, for many people, they represent a, um, they represent transformation and again, a lightness of being, <laughs> flitter, flatter, flitter, flutter, flitter, flutter, very light, uh, easy creatures seemingly. I mean, of course they've gone through major transformation that may have not been as easy for them. But once they're transformed, <laughs> they have this little, very light, fluttery way of being. So for me, because I would love to bring in um, the light, the lightness, this lightness of thought, lightness of being, lightness of of everything, um, I wanted to work with the butterfly. And if you want to bring in something else, you want to bring uh, work with a different animal, you can do as well. I mean, I've actually worked with different uh, insects as well. So you can see here, I've had actually dragonfly. This is a bee. Here's a bee girl, um, which is fun to make. I have also worked with, let's see, um, a ladybird, and, and it doesn't have to be an insect, by the way. Oh, here's another butterfly one. These are all very nice. So I like the idea of bringing in, using the butterfly today for our little session to um, emphasize what I, what I want to bring into the new year. Let's have a look, I want to show you the, no, oh, she's not here, it's not this. It's not this one, it's in this one. Um, so these journals, by the way, and I'll talk a little bit in a second about the supplies they're gonna need. Oh here, I wanted to show you her. So she's very cool. I really like her a lot. I thought we could do a similar design today where we use the hair. Uh, because I want to write in the head at what we want to bring in and, and that sort of stuff. So I thought we'd do similar design like this and add butterflies around her and that they fly into 2021, could be over here. So this is 2021, where we're flying into with our butterflies. Um, that's going to be, that's my idea. But if you want to work with a different animal, you can. So if you, I don't know, when you want to bring something, you want protection in, want to bring protection in, to 2021 and you associate protection with a bear, you may want to weave in a bear somehow or any other animal and it doesn't, and it can mean, it's it's all about how you interpret the, the meaning of the animal to be. If, if for you, if you think of protection of a meerkat or, I don't know, a swan, then do you choose the swan or the meerkat? It's not got to do with what these animals represent, uh, broadly or generally to the general public. It's what you associate it with. Okay, and so for our little art um, activity, now of course you can see that I'm working in these odd journals. These are um, actually A5, uh, sorry, A5 is a European term for a journal that is sized five by seven inches. And this is actually, look, this is actually uh, a normal, a large book that they just cut in half. These are sadly no longer, see they go like this. <laughs> 
Uh, these are sadly no longer produced by Roberson. Water uh, Robers Roberson used to make these journals. I still have many of them, or well, not many left, I've got a few left actually, and I um, want to work in them. But you do not have to work in this thing, because it's an odd shape, isn't it? Sorry. It's this kind of weird shape um, that I'm working in. And you can just simply work on um, either a normal journal size like this, in a normal journal, so a normal, this is a 9 by 12 in, uh, inches. So this would be like a normal sized journal if you want to work like this. Or you can work on large watercolour paper. Uh, this is 16 by 12. You can also work on something like that. Any kind of surface you want to work on will be fine. Sorry, I say surface, but I am working on watercolour paper. So if you want to work on canvas, the watercolour won't work so well on that. So you need to, uh, I would recommend working on watercolour paper. But you just don't have to work in this kind of oddly shaped size. <laughs> okay, and then the other supplies we're going to work with, uh, I will be using a graphite pencil to draw the face with and the hair. And then I will likely use some watercolor pa paints. These are this is a Jane Davenport set, but you can use any you can use any watercolor set you you like. I also have a Schmincke or several Schmincke sets actually. And then um, I will also likely use a couple of color pencils or watercolor pencils, doesn't matter what you have, but um, I like them in sort of the darker colors, maybe the blues and the purples and the indigos or browns and reds uh, for shading. And then I also end up using a black and white Posca pen for details. And because it works pretty small on this, um, oh, you can also use a Stabilo all pencil for shading. Um, that's a, if you have those, but you don't have to go out and get them. Just a couple of color pencils that are in darker colors will help. And some watercolor, and I think that's all um, I'll be using today, let's see. Might use a couple of crayons as well, but you don't have, if you don't have them, you can just use watercolor instead. So I like using these crayons and I may use them or not. Okay, and so this session will be time-lapsed because um, we don't have that much time on the entire retreat and the activity but I will put subtitles on the screen so you can understand clearly what I'm doing. Okay so I hope you enjoy this session and I look forward to seeing your artwork. Um, I can't wait to see it please tag me in the group and if you have any questions you can tag me as well um, and of course I hope to hang out with you online you can find me on www.willowing.org and I absolutely love hanging out on Instagram. That's my favorite place to be. I am at Willowing on Instagram. I'd hope to see you there. Okay, thank you so much. Have a, have a lot of fun creating your um, art piece. And I hope to see you around online. Okay, much love. <laughs>